The London Mayor Daryl Finizio lost a Democratic endorsement to Michael Passero. Yeah, that's where we find News 8's Tina did tell tonight with the latest on that race. Tina. Yeah, you know, the mayor did lose his party's endorsement, but he's hoping he has voter support. No, both he and Michael Passero are still outside these polls right now, pressing the flesh. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. City Councilor Michael Passero is the party endorsed candidate in New London's Democratic primary. He's hoping to unseat Mayor Daryl Finizio, who four years ago won the Democratic primary against another party endorsed candidate. Back then, the mayor was a newcomer. Now he is the city's first elected mayor in 90 years. So, how is this race different? Our operation is three times larger and three times stronger. People are ready to, uh, to prove that we can make our new form of government work. Uh, there's a great deal of dissatisfaction in the first four years under an elected mayor. For a primary, the moderator says there has been a pretty good turnout, a steady stream of voters coming in, and by 11 o'clock, she'd already seen about 200 people go to the polls. The high turnout may mean more interest. Mayor Panizio obviously has experience in the job, um, but Michael Passero has been very involved in the community for a very long time, so it, it was a very tough decision. I can't say his last name, but I know his first name is Daryl. Okay. You, you like him? Why do you like him? I met him one time at Dunkin' Donuts. He seemed like he's a friendly guy. Mayor Daryl Finizio says people should ask if they are better off now or four years ago. Four years ago, we had record high crime. We've cut crime in half. Four years ago, we had huge budget deficits. I've balanced the budget three years in a row. Are you better off now or four years ago? Four years ago. I agree. Holly and John Ward are hoping for change and lower taxes. Are you nervous? Not at all. <laughs> no, I, no, not at all. I slept like a baby last night. I feel very good about this. Now, both candidates in this race are confident. I did just speak with the moderator here at this polling place, and she tells me right now only about an eighth of the registered voters in this district have come out. So even though there's a steady stream coming in right now, it's a little bit lower than she expected. We're live in New London. Tina Detell, News 8.